This is the Dynamax Iron Power, the strongest power to weight ratio of any of our gyroscopes yet. The power on demand, variable resistance, just like uh, you know, you see your Bowflex adjustable dumbbells. This gives you all that power. You don't have to make adjustments. You just wind it up faster, and then you slow it down slower. So it's a, the speed is governed by the, the rotational speed of the case. And uh, the speed of the, of the case rotating is only, um, it's, 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 it's only governed by the strength of my arm. So the faster that I move it, the faster the rotor spins. That's a repetition. You rev it up, and then you rev it down. So it's like interval training, where I'm going to sprint up to my fastest speed, move through a few different postures, and then I'm going to bring it back down again, let myself recover, and then I'm going to rotate through a few different movements. And some of the moves. Baseball, boxing, creating stability and strength, 360 degrees of motion throughout my entire range of motion, which creates power and dexterity for every punch, allowing me to land my punches exactly where I want them to be, whether that guy tries to block me or not, and drive right through him because I got power and strength in every direction. I develop Rotator cuff stability through rotational movements. You may have seen movements using dumbbells in and out. This is going to give me 360 degrees. At the same time, it's giving me a killer bicep workout right now. Need my rotator cuff right here. Notice 90 degree bend in the elbow. Rotation of my humerus. I'm using an elliptical pattern with the motion still going through circular motion. Then I'm going to change that elliptical pattern move towards and away from me, working my biceps and my triceps. Also, this intense workout for my brachioradialis. Switch off hands regularly, making sure that I get a balanced workout. Anytime that I get too tired to handle it, the difference between this and a dumbbell, which can be quite dangerous. If you're using a dumbbell and you get too tired to handle it, if your grip gets too tired to handling a dumbbell, what are you going to do? You're going to hurt a joint, you're going to drop it on your foot, you're going to hurt yourself or somebody else. With this, you stop using it, and that's all it does. It goes back to being a paperweight. It doesn't do anything at all. What I'm developing here is skill and movement. What I'm doing here is I'm combining forces of are the sense of the uh, sensory perception, feeling this ball and the way that it moves, and I'm matching that with my force output. And that creates a type of coordination in me that develops my dexterity. You can turn your screwdrivers here, you can use the tweezers there, you can have dexterity. Be more capable. You make fewer mistakes. You have fewer injuries. Everything's more stable. You have stronger joints, you, you're, uh, you don't have carpal tunnel syndrome, you have uh, strong tendons throughout your hands, you have good circulation, so you don't have the issues with your hands that other people do. You develop circulation, and it's just stimulating. It's an exciting, fun thing to do. These sort of exercises, uh, they don't require discipline, they don't require a structured regimen, they don't require uh, a trainer barking in, in your ear to push it. Why do I do these? I do it because it's fun, and it feels good, and I enjoy it. I like what I'm doing.